Hello. One of the things I used to be involved in quite a lot was putting together radio transmitter kits. When the internet came along, these became quite readily available. They're about £20 online, and they put out about 7 watts on the FM wave band. That, of course, is illegal, so I do not broadcast. When I'm testing, I use what they call a uh, dummy load. Dummy load absorbs the RF. This whole room that we're in is called a Faraday, is in a, is a Faraday cage that also absorbs RF. So I don't actually broadcast. I'm not breaking any laws showing you this, because we're not putting out any power and the transmitter's on very low power anyway, and you are allowed to put out very small RF signals these days. Um, you can use them for in-car entertainment and that sort of thing. Anyway, that's a dummy load. But this is the old-fashioned uh, design of these transmitters. The um, signal goes in there, your um, audio frequency goes in there, well, there is your music, and the, that's the aerial which goes out to the outside world. As I say, the um, fan here is an, an added extra to keep it cool. So, these are the old ones, and if you look at the display, I zoom in and do it the right way. Display is in black and white. You've got the frequency, the volume, and the power output, which is, as you can see, absolutely minimum at the moment. So these are the ordinary ones. They have about 7 watts output, which gives most people, in, when they put them on top of a block of flats, about 5, five miles range, something like that. Recently, however, I was asked to assemble another kit. And, being the idiot that I am, I said, OK, I'll assemble it for you, but I'm not going to be involved in broadcasting with it. And it was this kit. And this is slightly different. Well, it's very different. It came at the same price. But it's got some extras here. If you look very closely, we'll zoom in again. Oops. I knew I'd get it the wrong way around. First of all, it has got here a card reader. So I think there's one on earth a card reader for you start to get almost excited. Then once you've powered it up, you look at the display, whoops, sorry, and the display is in living colour. Power now goes up to 300 instead of 50 or 100, and altogether it's completely redesigned. Once again, we have got the dummy load on. Now, what I did discover was if you have an MP3 music file on here, can't be in a folder, it's got to be actually on the on the card itself. And put it in there. After you've switched it on, it immediately starts playing the music. So this really could be con des described as a self-contained power radio transmitter, because all you would have to do would be connect an aerial to it. Oops, let's zoom out a bit. Make it easier for you. All you'd have to do would be connect an aerial to it, connect a car battery to it, put in your three-hour music program, walk away and leave it transmitting. So these are coming out. I don't know where they came from. As soon as I discovered this was something new, I contacted the supplier and said, please, what's going on? And um, they denied all knowledge of it. They didn't know what was going on, they said. I don't know. So perhaps this is, a, uh, is an early design example. It gets very hot. That transmit, even on 20 watts, those, those resistors are really too hot to touch. I think it's pumping out a lot more than um, 7 or 5 watts, or whatever it is, 7 watts. I will warn you, if you ever do, do, do um, put one of these kits together, and I'll put the uh, link on the notes where I got this from, that transistor there, let's zoom in again. Get it the wrong way? Of course I've got it the wrong way. Let's zoom in a bit. And this transistor here, not the big driver transistor over there, but that transistor there, it's always second-hand. It also gets very, very hot, hence the fan. And it wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of heat sink compound around it, which I have done. But it's always second-hand, that transistor. I don't know where they get them from. But the leads are always short. So if you do ever put one of these together, be careful because the leads are short. How do you put one of these together? I'll very briefly show you because they are very simple to put together. If you've done a little bit of assembly, they're not, they're not too bad at all. Um, basically, you, you solder in one, two, three, four, five, six coils. You solder in two transistors, you put the heat sink on, you solder in the connector there, you solder in the connector there, and you solder on three switches there. That's it. That's it. The rest of it just works. So, if you ever des decide to build one of these, they're very good. And as I say, I'll put the link to where they come from on the internet. But don't go broadcasting illegally, please. It annoys the neighbours, and you can get into big trouble for it. As I say, I'm in a Faraday cage, and... 
at least build yourself a dummy load. So when you are testing your equipment, you are not broadcasting. And uh, the dummy load link, uh, the circuit, does come in the instructions with this kit. That's all. Thought I'd show you this brand new Pirate Radio Color Display MP3 player 